A montage of photographs depicting students and teachers. A graphic of the Perkins logo and the words, Teachable Moments. A title, Supermarket Tactile Book with Ira Pade. Hi, my name is Ira Pade. Ira sits at a table. To her left is an adaptive book titled Supermarket. I'm a teacher at the Perkins School for the Blind and the Deaf Blind program. And I'm here to talk to you today about adapted books. I wanted to talk to you about this experience story I've made for my students who are between the age ranges of 11 to 13 years old, who are totally blind, with hearing impairments and cognitive delays. Now I really enjoy making experience stories based on experiences that the students have had in the past because it's very difficult to find age appropriate materials that also have the simple language that my students will understand. So this in particular is about the supermarket. The cover contains several tactile elements. This might not look like the supermarket to you, but this is a little piece of nylon board that we use to create our shopping list. So this to the students means their shopping list. And these are the symbols that represent our field trip. So every Wednesday we go to the supermarket with our shopping list. Shopping list and field trip to them means the supermarket. I have laminated paper, but oftentimes people are concerned about glare, but since my students are totally blind, glare is not a factor. And I use materials that are the actual objects that are also meaningful to my students. I actually either use the actual object or scale down the actual object to a smaller size in order for them to fit on the paper. So this is our story about the supermarket and it's broken down into five steps. So just like students with vision impairments uh, who we want to create a simple visual representation, my students are early tactile learners, so I wanted to create a simple tactile representation for them too. So that means one object or partial object and just one word brailed. On the first page, one face of a container of half and half has been glued above a white label with black printing. It reads, I get some milk. The word milk has been brailed using transparent tape. In this instance, milk is the only thing that's brailed. So this page means milk. And then this way, the students can also open the milk and kind of take part in it. So how I usually present this activity to my students is I get a shopping basket. I get the actual object. So I have a whole container of milk. So we'll go through each page. So in this instance, we'll take the milk carton, we'll taste a little bit of the milk, we'll feel this page, and then we'll put the milk carton into the shopping basket. Same thing with cereal. On the next page, a small box of Fruit Loop cereal has been glued. We'll open the cereal box, we'll taste a little bit of the cereal, and then we'll put it into the cereal box. So have the students go through the motions of the actual experience that they had. The next page has a small piece of dried orange peel glued over the text label. I've used dried orange peel, and then... The next page displays a variety of coins and a copy of a $20 bill. I give the money, and then... The text label on the final page reads, I take the bag. Above it are a paper grocery bag and a plastic grocery bag. We take the bag, and that's today's teachable moment.